Welcome to the Garden Room series. Now, this video is quite an interesting one because when I was designing the building way back when and working out you know, what we'd need to do and everything else, we knew we'd have a couple of small windows on this elevation. But when I was doing the timber frame design, I thought, well, there's no way I know where they need to go at the moment because we were gonna put some sort of petitioning up and that sort of stuff. So we decided to uh, work them that we could add them afterwards. And this is exactly what we're gonna be doing now. So this is the window. It's aluminium, it matches with everything else that's here. And I've got two to do. I've got one in this little area and one in the area next to it. So basically what we need to do is we've got our studs in the timber frame where you see these battens here. And we're gonna be popping this one in here. We're gonna go against the side of this stud here and we're gonna trim this stud out here. So the object is we'll find the center, we'll drill all the way through to the outside. Then we'll use a rail saw and that rail saw will cut all the way down through the cladding. We'll carefully remove the cladding, take the insulation out, form the trimmed opening, pop the window in, rebatten it on the inside and then we can carry on and get all the rest of this plasterboarding through. So we want to get both of these windows done, fitted, glazed today, which will be nice, um, and get on. So what we did is we can see the studs here. We've just peeled this um, plastic back. We peeled this, we peeled this vapor back and we've gone, we've drilled all the way through where the center of the window will be. And that's given us a reference point on the outside. Then we're going to do something really clever. We want to use a rail saw, but we don't want to screw the rails to the actual cladding because we'd be screwing them on either side that's left. So we've come up with another way of doing it. We're going to take a piece of board and the saw is going to run against the side of the, the board. So the base of the saw will run against the side of the board and it will cut all the way through. So we're going to go through the thermo wood cladding. Then we've got our counter button. Then we've got our sheathing, okay? So all together, that's 22, 25, and nine. So all together, that is roughly the full depth of the saw. That will get us all the way through. So what we have to do is, as I say, make a parallel piece of board, screw it on the outside, run the saw up, run the saw down, finish it off just where we sort of, we don't want to overcut it. Finish it off with, say, a multi-tool, remove the cladding, take the sheathing out, push the insulation in, and then we're ready to trim the opening for window fitting. Doing a job like this, if you can use all of these, you know, things to your advantage, for example, you know, I've got the window, so I'm setting everything out. I want to make sure that it's going to fit perfectly. So I've actually used the actual window itself. Now, we'll just strip it out, get rid of all the protection on it. These are smart systems windows, if anyone wants to ask in the comments, they say, oh, what are those windows? They look nice. And they're in a um, specific color. This color is a color that I chose after lots of deliberation. I wanted to avoid um, typical anthracite. It's a little bit too dark for my liking. And the whole idea behind our color choice was that as our timber on the outside of the building weathered down, it would go a nice silver. And so we wanted to get a material which would have a really nice silver looking finish. So it would all look pretty good. And the cladding's been on for a year or so and it's beautifully silvered down and we've got that effect. So, right, I've laid it out over a scrap piece of board here. And when I add the sill onto it, I'll just put the sill on here just to show you what I mean. When I add the sill on and flush it up, I've got my opening. So I've allowed five millimeters all the way around, which is basically what we need because we're cutting the cladding back to that position. Then when we fit the window, we've got a reveal which goes all the way around, which holds the window in and forms like the weather seal. So this board underneath here is the size of the opening we want. And we're gonna screw that on the cladding on the outside and actually use that to run the saw against. Now the saw that I'm using, the KT18, the KT okay, it's, an L, it's called KT18 LTX 66BL. So it's a brushless and it's got a 66 mil 
depth of cut. Now, unlike my other rail saw, which only goes for 55, this will get me all the way through the cladding, the battening, and the sheathing in one go. So I'll be using it full depth all the way down, and I'll be running it against the size, side of the board that's screwed on the outside, so I'll be running it against here. But what I need to do is form a small rebate because you can see how much gap I've got there. I've only got an 18 mil piece of board. If I had a nine mil piece of board, it'd be absolutely fine. So we're first of all gonna rip this down to basically, if you can imagine, the saw's gonna run against it and form our opening. So I've marked a line here, holding the blade against there. I've marked a parallel line there. And that's how much I need to take off either side of my board, it's 153 millimetres. So I'll be, I'll be ripping that off this side, 153. And I'll be ripping it off this side, 153. That'll leave this section in the middle. We'll screw that on. We'll run the saw up. We'll run the saw down. Now this is a battery saw, so I've got no cables to contend with. And I can plug this into dust extraction as well, but I'm outside and I'd rather actually fire the dust away because that hose might snag me as I'm going up and down. So we're gonna rip this down, pop a little rebate in to accommodate just the bottom of the motor there as it comes down, get both of those holes cut out in one go and start fitting these windows. It's a little bit like a jig and you know how much we like a jig. So basically, just in a nutshell, we're gonna run the side of the saw, it's lovely and straight and parallel to this. But to enable us to get down to the full depth, we've had to accommodate for the, that part of the motor. So that's it. So drill out, mark this up, pop it on and make the cuts. So it's just about to take that section of batten out there. So I'm gonna drill all the way through. This is where I wanna be. I wanna keep fairly square. I'm just using the end of a board. Um, level up and down doesn't matter so much because this is really soft. So it's gonna fly through this, but I wanna make sure when I hit the sarking board on the other side of this, the OSB here, we're nice and true. I'm just gonna clear that out. Because on the end, I'll have a little disc of paper and that will be running around and stopping the blade going through. Back through, that's it. We're, now we're through the OSB, now we're into the back of the cladding. And all I wanna do is not drill right through, just leave a point. So I've actually left just the hole on the outside there. So I've just gone through with the tip of the drill bit. I don't wanna smash all the way through. I know I'm taking it out, but that gives me an exact center then. Go outside now screw our board up and attempt the cut. So this will be pretty interesting. So that's where we're gonna be marking our center from. And all we need to do is center up our board here. So we're gonna sort of like plumb a line down, center it up and it goes up against that top row of cladding. That'll be the head of the window, okay? Underneath this nice eave. And then we'll come, so we'll cut all the way through and we'll finish off this one underneath here We'll finish that off probably with a multi-tool. I don't really want to try and run the saw along that. So we'll be running down, we'll be running up and finishing it off with a multi-tool. So the first job will be get that centered up, screw it up and use the rail saw. So we'll pop a center mark straight on here. Let's read the tape this way around. That's why I like imperial and metric because it reads exactly one foot or 12 inches as opposed to 304 or something. So there's my center. This is the center of the drill. I plumb down and I put a mark just on the underside of where this board will be. And then what we'll do is we'll run the board in. We'll line this up with that mark there. We'll make sure the top is in position with the top piece of cladding. I'll put the bottom screw in Nice one, Ed. Now uh, put the bottom screw in there and then we'll plumb it up and fix the top screw. 
using the level now, because we know it's parallel, so we know both sides are going to be lovely and true. And then I need to get a hop up to screw the top screw in. That's nice and plumb. That's what we're running the saw against. I just think this is a really nice way of doing this. Just going to pop a mark on. It doesn't matter here because it's being cut out. So that's it. Now we only want to cut as far as here and we only want to cut down as far as there. So we'll just cut these boards and then we'll finish it off. We're talking about here, by the way, that's where the cut is. And then we'll finish off by hand. So using the rail saw, we're going to go here, plunge in, run all the way up like this. You can see how nice and easy that is. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way until we get as high as we can go. Then we'll reverse round, start as high as we can, plunge through and come all the way down. So let's get this side done first. So this is the last of the boards that's coming out. So this one here up to this one here. So if we give that a little cut first, just fire that the other way. Just see where I am, sight it through. that's the idea we've got a nice straight cut so I'm not going to go much further than this because I can just finish this off with a straight edge and a multi-tool and then we're going to proceed to go all the way up How's that? That's good. Now all we got to do is take it off. Set that aside. And we can then carefully take out our cladding. We'll start by, we might have to just split a tongue off and then we'll get it out. So that should release a board or two and get some, there we go. That's it. So now it's just a matter of removing all these pieces and we're back to where we need to be. You can see the butt joints where they've got some, some support for the lengths because they're against the sarkin. That's it. Just finish the bottom off. tuck up there we we'll just cut basically just cut straight off there I reckon <laughs>
we've made the opening so the outside bit is done. This is exactly the right size for the windows. And then what we're gonna do now is move the stud that we need to move, there's one on each window. So we trim the insulation, we'll put some trimming in, move the stud over behind where it needs to be, slot the batten back in between the two, which is this counter batten, and then basically get the window fitted. Once we've fitted the window, we fit it to a particular position We'll silicon it all, so it's the first sort of layer. And then we're gonna go around with a thermo wood trim that we're gonna make, which finishes flush with the front of the board. And it's really, really nice. It comes down on top of the sill. The sill will be right over to here. Um, and that's it, we'll get them in, get them glazed. And then we can put the insulated plasterboard on the back of the wall. And that's a really nice job done. And the weather's on our side. It was raining earlier, but now it's absolutely lovely, super warm. And uh, what more could you want? So all we need to do is I just need to reduce this piece of insulation, cut along here, take this one out, cut the stud out exactly the right height to allow me a timber to go from here over to connect to the new timber which forms the reveal. And then that'll be the structural opening form. As I said, I'll be slotting a bit of battening on the other side between the cladding and the sheathing. Um, and that's pretty good. So um, yeah, I'll get on, mark that all up, cut the insulation out get my mask on, horrible stuff. Got my vacuum here so I can hoover as I go. Then I'll do the timber work. I'll use a multi-tool to cut this one in situ exactly where it needs to be cut. I'll put myself, as I say, a noggin all the way through, which will pick up the sheathing on the outside again. I can get a screw into it as well. Um, and I'll do that on both the windows. Once that's done, we'll be getting on with fitting the windows, which will be brilliant. <laughs> So the inside is done. We're just gonna go outside. We've got some trim, some battens to put in here to close off the cavity. And then that's it. We can fit the window. We've got another one over there to just get to this stage. And we're doing all right, it's looking good. So the windows have been fitted. I've also put around my thermo wood trim. So I make these trims out of the cladding. I rip them down, put a nice little round over, which is just the same as all of these grooves here. And it comes all the way through, down over to the sill. The sill sits down over the top of here. All I have left to do outside here now is colour match silicon all the way down this joint, around here, and that's basically it. So it was super easy to fit. In that little time, as you saw me pushing them in and getting them fixed, and then I came back and glazed them properly afterwards. I've just got window boards to put on the inside now, plasterboard the reveals round, and that job is complete, but don't they look a treat in this beautiful, thermo wood cladding. <laughs>